Yes, and don't forget that both of the Old Testament and also the New Testament. In the Old Testament, it's it's not though that that word mind is not in there, but in the Septuagint version of the Old Testament, it's in there that we must love Jehovah with all our hearts, our mind, our strength our minds and our soul so anybody that tries to take your mind away they're not of god that's a witchcraft you know why because once you know god and once you believe in him and once you are a, a part of him you have no restrictions on what you can examine and what you can look at you look at everything you the man of god examines all things but he's not examined by anyone because he's approved by God, you know. But these people that try to get you into a little cult corner and don't want you to look outside and don't t aren't warning you about what's going on, 5013C religion that doesn't want you to know the truth about what's coming, the one world government that is not jesus christ's government that's the devil's government they're not telling you so slick they got all the good doctrines about the fallacy of the hellfire and the immortal soul and the trinity but they're not telling you the most important thing because in revelation the 15th chapter verse 2 it speaks about those who gain victory over the beast and over its image and over its mark and over its name. You know, and, and that sea of glass that's mingled with fire. And they sing that song of Moses. Like they came, come through that Red Sea. They, they come through the tribulation. Same thing. Looks like they're going to be killed, but they have faith in God, and he opens up the way for them. And the song of the Lamb, they have faith in the Son of God, in Jesus Christ, and in no man. You see, so you have only those that have victory over that beast, and do not take the mark, will live through the tri coming tribulation. Only those who are smart enough, who can see what's going on. You have to warn those that are deceived by men, by a wicked organization that has the devil doing the devil's work. You have to help them. Not to sell them, come back, go out in the world, you know. Because I don't, I don't see any of them, you know, well, I don't know, maybe there's some. But Jehovah's Witnesses have a lot of truth, man. That doesn't mean that, the, that, that don't be deceived. Just because they teach a lot of true doctrines that no other religion has does not mean that they're God's organization. Because look at what they do. No mercy. Pedophiles, Masonic. I mean, even even if there's even if they don't come out and tell you they're Masons, look at them. They act like Masons. They're capable of violence. <clears throat> you know, uh, it's just amazing. You know, they're so protective of their organization. Of themselves, of their whore heritage. They boast about themselves. Jesus Christ said, let not your right hand know what your left hand is doing. But they're always talking about how great they are and they've done this and that and that and that. Can't you see the scam? You know, because I'm afraid for your soul. I'm afraid for the souls of Jehovah's Witness. I don't want them to take the mark of the beast. I don't want them to follow man. I want them to follow Jesus Christ. He's so much more merciful. So much more kind. He came to give us life. And more abundantly. He didn't come to, des to destroy men's life. But to save them. I think that's the verse. that One of those verses they took out of their translation. When he tells uh, John and, and uh, his brother. 
Son of Man, did, you know, when they want to call down thunder, he says, you don't know what manner of spirit you are. The Son of Man came not to destroy men's life, but to save them. You know? So that's why he's not your enemy. He, God's your friend. The devil's your enemy. And he's got all devices and designs to have you destroyed. But God has the answer for those that ask. Only those who ask. Only those who seek. They find. Because God has provided for those that really are interested. You know? That keeps out the fake ones who just say, Oh, well, Jesus says all we have to do is ask in his name and we got it. So, uh, Jesus, could I have a... You know, pizza pie, a million dollars. Oh, he didn't do it. See, I don't have, I don't believe in that stuff. <laughs> What's important? Those who seek for the truth find it. Those who seek for the answers to the problems in the world, they find it in Jesus Christ, not in a man. Not in a lying, deceptive man. There's no greater than Jesus Christ. His words are the same yesterday, today, and forever. He does not change. Does not change his doctrine. Does not men that come around say, Oh, well, well, he assigned us, you see. So you're going to have to listen to us now. Baloney! We're not listening to you. We only listen to our master, Jesus Christ. We're not listening. You're not our master. The sheep hear my voice, said Jesus. But strangers they will flee from. So that's why they're fleeing, you know. But don't give up on God, all you people that come out. God loves you. He's the only one. He loves you. He's the only solution to our problems. He's the only hope anyone has. If you want to take a few lousy world, years in this world that's ready to die and give up eternal life and throw the baby out with bathwater... Throw the dirty bath water out, but don't throw that precious baby out. Don't throw away the truth. You know, and um, I'm trying to think, what, what else could I can say, you know? Because I don't know how to uh, shut this thing, to, you know, stop it and start it, and I don't know how to edit it. Let me try to uh, pause it and see if it'll work. Otherwise, take care, folks. Okay, it's continuing. All right. Yeah, so that's that's the main thing is just, uh, uh, I think I said everything, yeah, that I wanted to say. I'll probably remember something later. I'll have to make another video. But uh, I don't know if I'm helping anybody. You know, I really hope, I know there, there was somebody that said that, that I was, some of the things I said will help. I, I hope everything I says helps. I want people to live, man. I love people. God loves you. God wants you to live. Don't be afraid of these puny men. They're going to die. You know, they're really going to die. There's nothing there. Don't be afraid of any man. Fear God. And what I mean is fear to lose your favor with God. Fear to lose um, uh, your relationship with God. The fear of man is what lays a snare. Don't let any of them shake you. Because there's a big, gigantic organization that is with the devil. A great army. You know? And they're opposed to God. And these people that think they have an apostate army, they're joining the world in opposition to the people of God. Are you crazy? You're going to perish with the world. Well, they don't care. They just want their few years of what they call freedom. Freedom from the commandments of God, which God gave to us because he loves us for our good. So that we'll have a peaceful and happy life. So they go, they take their part with the devil and they perish forever. You know, I could, I'm not part of that group. You know, I'm right in the middle. And so far, I'm like almost like the only one I know of. Because I don't trust these other people like, uh, oh, they just, some of them just make me sick. The phonies, you know, I could go on about that. The Robert King guy who stole a bunch of stuff that I had uh, come out with like 20 years ago on the internet, on forums, you know. And he just took pew, 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 one right after the other. And everybody was telling me I was crazy, you know. And he just stole everything and it just made a website and wrote a book 
that was all that was mostly all for me. I'm not saying all of it, but some of it. The main things, the eye catchers, were from me. I'm the one who brought out that the new order is from the devil. That's Hitler's talk. God is no new order. you know. So he grabbed that. I also brought out that they worship an organization. He grabbed that. I also brought out that the 42 months, the 1,260 days is yet to come. Where nation will rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom. Because every time men that's mentioned in the Bible, it speaks, it doesn't have a stop and a start. It, those are punishments that are, that destroy people. So the world wars don't, do not fit that. But that's part of the Kabbalah plan too. You see, and they made this scripture fit when 1914 is not anything but a man's invention. And man's taking over. That's when the Jews became prominent. The Balfour Declaration where they were promised to, their holy land back and in 1948 they were given their land. You see, it's the whole, this is the Jewish century. Take a look at what the rabbis are saying and what they're planning and they use Christianity as a vessel to gain their ends. They worship the devil. Do not follow them and do not believe them. I don't know how to say it any plainer. And, um, yeah, so this Robert King, oh, every time I, I can't stand to look at him because you know what he told me when I, I thought I could team up with him. I said, oh, wow, this guy that got my, got my stuff, you know, and he says, you have an organic brain disease. And you take, I, mean, I, I can't even stand to look at the guy to tell you the truth because he makes me sick because I know he's a, he's, he's a, uh, pilferer he's a thief and he don't give a crap man he has no conscience all he wants is a little adulation from men these are disgusting these people and they hide the truth from you they still don't want to give you the truth i told him the whole truth but he only picked out a few parts that were catchy you know um and some you know some very good truths but those were things that I was going to reveal. But he stole them and revealed them before I could. You know, so he's a slime ball. And I've actually talked to him on the internet face to face. And he didn't, he didn't deny what I was saying, that he stole my stuff. He didn't deny it at all. But he knew I was angry and so he, he put up a defense, you know. So this is interesting stuff. Don't follow slime balls like that. He's, a, he's another little watchtower child, you know. And they're full of hypocrites because uh, Jesus says you travel sea and land to make one proselyte. And after you made that proselyte, that proselyte is twice the child of hell that you are. There's all kinds of hypocrisy in that organization, man. Ugh. Makes my skin crawl. Makes my blood boil. And people do not know. Well, that's okay people trust but hey it's only a matter of time they got to see if they're honest at all and if they're not if they're blind and if they deserve to perish forever they're going to follow that organization and they're going to take the mark of the beast because well, all freemasons they're going to be the enforcer of that did you know that they sure are they're doing that work man they call it the new world order and it's going to turn it into called called god's kingdom because uh it falls, you know, with a sword stroke, but then it reemerges. You know, it, everything's going to be revealed. Just start seeking for the truth, looking for it. It's there. It's there to take for you to take. Okay? I want you to live forever, that's all. May God bless those that seek and find.